Bard spiral galaxies are the most common type of disk galaxies in the local universe. The nearest Bard spiral galaxy we know is our own Milky Way. We have a bar at the center of our Milky Way that extends from the middle of the Milky Way to about a third of the distance to, to us. What is a bar? A bar is essentially uh, an over-density of stars in the center of a galaxy. It's a three-dimensional thin structure where there's a lot of stars and it rotates in a coherent manner. When there's a bar in the center, there's a larger gravitational pull. For stars, this doesn't matter. They don't care. They will go out, you know, they get accelerated because they're pulled in by the bar, they go past the bar, they slow down, okay? Now they're not going in circles, but they're going in some non-circular orbits. That's okay. The problem comes in for the gas clouds because the gas clouds are big, they can run into each other. And if you look at a picture of a barred galaxy, you will see two dust lanes that are on the leading side of the bar. And these are pipelines of gas inflow. And the gas flows into the center, large amounts of gas can flow into the center, and it can create lots of new stars. There has been a suggestion that this gas flow can feed the black holes in the center. So in today's world, bars are your primary agents for change in a galaxy because they are taking gas from the outskirts and bringing it into the center and converting it into stars. What I'm really excited about doing is going back in time and using ALMA to piece together not only how this gas is distributed, but also how this gas is moving and how it gets shocked and how much of it goes into the center, how much of it gets converted into stars. All of these are unanswered questions um, and ALMA will allow us to do this in, in great deal of detail. What we found recently is that whereas today Two-thirds of all disk galaxies have a bar in them. The situation was very, very different seven billion years ago. Less than 20% of disk galaxies had a bar. And over the last seven billion years, you can see the bars coming into existence. This is important because bars are your primary signpost for the maturity of a galaxy disk. So the ultimate fate of a disk galaxy is a bar. So what we have done is we have said, okay, since I know that the ultimate fate of a galaxy that's mature is a bar, I'm going to go back in time and try to understand the rate at which bars came into these galaxies and therefore infer from that the rate at which galaxies matured. Now what ALMA will allow us to do is to see the rate at which galaxies became more and more massive and then correlate that with how the bars came into existence. 